Hello, in this video we're going to go over the step-by-step -step procedure to solve a system of equations using substitution. The goal here is to get rid of one of the variables so we can find the solution to the remaining variable. So uh, just like in the last one, we're going to be given two equations. Sometimes there's more, but 99% of the time it's two equations. So here they are, 2y equals x plus 1 and negative 2x minus y equals 7. Step one, solve either of the equations for a variable, which means isolate an x or a y. This may already be done for you. So sometimes it's already done. Like one of the equations might say x equals y plus 5. And then you don't have to do step one. But in this case, we do have to decide what to do. Um, so when you're trying to decide which to isolate for, you want to usually pick the easiest one. You could isolate for y here, uh, but then we'd have to divide by 2, and then we'd get some fractions, so we probably don't want to do that. Um, you could isolate for x here, and all you would have to do is subtract 1 from both sides, so that looks promising. Um, you could solve for this x here, um, but then we would have to divide by negative 2, which would make fractions again so we don't want to do that and we could solve for this y here um, we could do that by adding 2x to both sides and then we'd have to also get rid of this negative here so I think the easiest one we decided is this so we're gonna solve for this x just by subtracting one from both sides um, so here we go I subtracted one from both sides now I have 2y minus 1 equals x and then I just flipped it around because I want to know what x is. So x equals 2y minus 1. So that's where we're at. Step 2. Plug the value of the isolated variable into the other equation. It has to be the other equation. Um, so here's the value of the variable. So 2y minus 1 is the value of x. And we're going to plug that into equation 2. So equation 2, we have negative 2 right here and then the x value is being replaced with the value of x um, minus y equals 7. Now you're going to want to use parentheses when you replace the value um, because in this multiplication here we want to make sure that the negative 2 is being multiplied to the whole thing and not just the 2y. Alright so we plugged in the value now step 3 we're going to solve. Okay so we have this variable y we have to solve for it. Now this is a uh, one of the spots where you can make a lot of mistakes so um, try to be organized uh, so we have negative 2 times 2y so we have negative 4y and then here this can be confusing to some people when there's distributive property and also subtraction and a negative keep in mind in, in cases like this that subtraction and negative it mean essentially the same thing. So the way I like to think about it is I'll just do negative 2 times negative 1 and that'll give me a positive 2 and so a positive 2 I just say is a plus 2. Okay, And then we have this minus y here equals 7. Uh, next we're gonna have to combine some like terms so a negative 4y and a negative y which is like a negative 1y right so we have negative 5y, here's that plus 2 equals 7. Uh, now we're going to want to get rid of that plus 2, so we do that by subtracting 2. Now we have negative 5y equals 5. And now we can get rid of this negative 5 by division of five, uh, negative 5. So we know that y is going to be equal to negative 1. Alright, so step th uh, four, so now that we know the value of one of the variables right here, y equals negative one, plug it into one of the original equations to figure out the other one. So here are the original equations and we can plug this into one of them. Um, in this case, it doesn't really matter. I'll, I'll go into equation one. So we have two times negative one now the parentheses are important here because if you didn't have them it would look like 2 minus 1 but clearly this is supposed to be multiplication so we want to keep that um, in mind um, equals x plus 1 
And so solving that, we get negative 2 equals x plus 1. And we can subtract 1 from both sides. And we get negative 3 equals x, or x equals negative 3. And then we want to um, put that in, put that answer in a x comma y form. So negative 3 comma negative 1. And we're done with that step. Now step 5, check your answer by plugging both values into both equations to see if they work. Uh, so we have equation 1 here. So we have 2 times y equals x plus 1. So negative 2 equals negative 3 plus 1. That works. Check. And then in equation 2, we have negative 2 times x minus y. Now that's a double negative there because we have a minus, and then y itself is also negative. Okay. Um, that equals 7. So we have a 6 here plus 1 equals 7. So this is correct. So now we're very confident that this is the correct answer. All right. So make sure you took those notes uh, step by step using different colors whenever possible. Thanks for watching.